Hello and welcome to this short but powerful Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at the custom visual scroller to produce something like you see in the top of my screen. We're going to use our mock social media data to show the difference month on month in total views by location. In order to get this custom visual, we can click on the ellipsis, get more visuals, and we can bring scroller into our report. As you can see, it's Power BI certified and it's a powerful custom visual. So predominantly when I've seen this before, it's been used for sort of stock market data or, or cryptocurrency prices. But as usual, I want to show a slightly different use case and we're going to go ahead and build this out again to show the variance month on month between our total social media views by location. So if we look at the scroller visual field value wells, we're going to add the location into category. And in the measure absolute, we're going to add this month's views. Now you can see there's already power here because we, we can display this month's views. And it's important to note when we do hover our cursor over the visual, it stops. So if we wanted to view anything specific, we could do that. The field that we want to, to populate though is the measure deviation. So if we look at our data set, Within this table, that we can assume this is our social media views by location. We have the total views this month, and we have the previous month views. We can use DAX to show the difference between the views this month and the previous views. And then we can use this number as our deviation within our field values in the scroller visual. And that's gonna show us the variance month to month. We can now write some simple DAX to show the subtraction between the sum of the total views this month and the previous month. And that's going to give us that value that we want to show within our scroller to show variance. One other added bonus, I can show you sometimes if we create a DAX measure um, and we click new measure within the, the GUI, the guided user interface, it populates that measure within the wrong table. Um, so what we can do is we can go into the relationships in Power BI and we can simply drag this into the area that we want to see this, this represented in. When we populate our monthly view variance DAX measure into the measure deviation field value well within their scroller visual, we now see that Power BI intelligently shows the positive values with a green upwards icon and the negative values with a red down facing icon. Now, this looks good. It shows us our variance. It's, it's a good start, but there are ways that we can customize that. And the first thing I would do is take away the title and the black background and we can make everything blend in. And from there, we can look at some further um, exciting formatting features that we can use that are unique to this visual. So within the formatting of the scroller visual and specifically looking uh, at text or font, 
we notice that we can auto size the font however i would suggest this is probably going to appear too large so so later on we can look at how we can we can change this manually and also if we don't want the indicator color to appear we could toggle this off and we can actually change the the status text coloring so that the whole text may appear green for a positive number or red for a negative like we saw in the indicator um, but again, I would I would argue that we want to have a consistent color scheme, maybe two or three colors per dashboard. So really, using the indicator color is probably power enough for people to get those or end users to get those data driven insights. also notice that we have further options like i said to manually adjust the font size and um, to adjust the scroll speeds the speed at which our locations and our values will will float across the screen and we also have a custom text option where this will replace our actual dynamic values this will just you know you could have sort of a welcome to our dashboard custom text but it's important to note this won't concatenate with the the dynamic location values that we're looking to show this will simply just show a custom text um, so there is a bit of value there but probably in helping people get data driven insights probably not so much um, but important to know it's there anyway so we'll play around with these and you can follow along if you like Again, we could play around with the font color or the background color but again i would suggest keeping quite a, a minimalistic dashboard color scheme maybe a primary color and a few secondary colors and really that's also going to highlight the indicator color and those positive or negative values so it actually strengthens the report whilst keeping a sort of minimalistic scheme Lastly, it's important to note that as standard, this has dynamic interaction with the rest of our dashboard, as we'd expect. So if we, for example, click locations within our map visual, we'll just see that specific location um, within our scroller, which is quite a nice feature. And yeah, important to note that it's there. As usual, if you like this content or find it helpful, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.